versus Acro, which is going on in winners round two. The other spots are being filled by Nature, who beat Vile 2-0. Oh, wow. That's actually really good yeah. of uh, Nature. Yeah, absolutely. And Matador and Dingus Joe are in a matchup as well, as well as Ronin and BGBC Logic. My man coming through. And now as we get the Bayo versus Corrin matchup on screen for you. My man, uh, it's just rolling. What are you doing? Is this a button check or what? Uh, I mean, it seems to be. I don't no, know. No, it does not seem to be. They are throwing hands now. Oh, I fair think, enough. I think Booty's trying to play with his food. Who did Thunder Leap it? Thunderlip, Thunderlip beat Reverse Soul. That, hold, whoa, we need to talk about that. Thunderlip beating Reverse Soul to get here? That's extremely impressive. You know, you're not wrong. But at the same time, man, Thunderlip getting uh, getting tossed around right about now. And Oh, goodness gracious. I, I would say that Corrin doesn't exactly look like an angel, but nonetheless, Bayonetta killing it right about now, sitting at 98%. And... Good throw by Thunderlit, and the, the the strengths he's not been able to employ all that much. I mean, Booty King still very much able to uh, penetrate the space that Thunderlit is uh, that Thunderlit is uh, trying to throw out the zoning offense of yeah. Corrin. And uh, but what can Thunderlit do to counteract what Booty King is uh, given to? Well, I mean, honestly, a lot of what Corrin can do pretty well in this matchup is, you know, yeah, obviously Bayo does have that extra lag when she lands with a lot of her specials. But not a lot of characters can really get to where she's at in time just because of, you know, how fast and how far she moves. Corrin is one of those rare exceptions. I mean, you know, she's got that tipper pin. She's got that dragon fang shot. You know, she has a lot of tools to get very far and do a lot of damage. And right now we're even seeing that too. Thunderlit with the lead. Um, and we are going to see oh. that dragon fang shot. You see him popping off. You see an F yeah from him. You see the crowd uproaring. Thunderlit up on Booty King. Into the fangs of the dragon goes Booty King and the taunt right back saying, is that all you got? And Thunderlit, just like that, we have an even game, but that is the... Oh! It, oh my gosh, the F-Smash coming out. Maybe he got sour spotted on it, but nonetheless, that's exactly what you want to be doing. And just as I was about to say, like, Booty King, he knows once you get within range for Corrin, it is very, very difficult for Corrin to be super effective. And uh-oh, the claws, the fangs being bared by Thunderlit. Could he be taking a bite out of this game for Booty King? I just feel like he's all over him. Oh Dragon Fang my shot. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Thunderlet is popping off. It's only game one, champ. And I it's know y'all are feeling it at home, too. It's that only game, game one. one. It's only game one, Thunderlit. It's only game one. My man's acting like he won grand finals, but you know what? Playing like this, he is on the road to doing exactly that. Thunderlit riding the shock of lightning to a oh. game number one victory. And Thunder Booty King Lit. has been given something to wow. think about here as we are going to game number two. How does he carry this momentum? That was an emotional victory. I feel like it could have very well have just dissipated all in that one reaction. But how do you calm yourself down, get yourself back into this? And uh, how do you, or more importantly, how do you prevent Booty King from getting himself back into this matchup. Uh, let me tell you uh, two words right there. You ready? Yeah. Play Bayonetta. Anyway, moving on to this <laughs> town and city counter pick. I think this is a much better choice for uh, Booty King. Um, right there, you know, we always saw him convert that off that platform. He could have actually ended uh, Thunderlit stock there had he read the correct tech option. But even so, we are watching Booty King continue to put on that damage. But I mean, as we saw before, Thunderlit can ride that momentum pretty fast. But oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh, climbing the ladder is Booty King and the taunt coming out as well, saying, you know what? You want to pop off? Well, I can dance all over you. He takes the first stock of game two. My goodness, we are just seeing Booty King relentlessly go all over him. 37% only on this stock, and I mean, oh gosh, running into that F-Smash isn't going to help that situation though, Booty King. Able to roll past the jab at the edge. I don't know, Thunderlit's, uh, oh, he's got to watch how he's landing here. Now Looking for the counter and uh, cheeky stuff, but Booty King. He might be dead, he might be dead. He might be dead, oh no, all right. Choosing to go for just damage, getting the backer on the down air. No, the SDI coming out from Thunderlit, preventing him from getting laddered that time. Excellent stuff. From Thunderlet, he's staying alive, but he needs to clean this stock up and fast. Absolutely. We are just watching Booty King go just completely nuts on this guy. Almost getting that witch time, which absolutely would have uh, sealed Thunderlet's fate there. But even so, even after missed conversion, he can just continue to do whatever he wants. Like right now, it's Booty King is all over his options. Uh oh, and an up smash would very well have done it, especially the, you know what? Top platform up smash on Town and City. Pretty sure that kills you. Oh, but yeah. at the same time. 
Ooh, tricky maneuverability with that uh, dragon. That sarcasm, lung. of course it killed. Just make sure. <laughs> I'm not an idiot, folks. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, uh, Booty King would be wise to realize that really that witch twist, you can hit that from neutral as much as you uh, as much as you want if you can in fact approach. But Thunderlit throwing out those zoning back airs, but being shielded by Booty King, who uh, we're seeing a much more patient Booty King here in this game number two. Absolutely. I mean, after taking a, after losing a game like that, I don't blame you. I look at I don't even know what he's doing with that shield shuffle there. Now, I will say, as much as I do talk about the fact that uh, Corrin can exploit uh, Bayonetta's lag because of Corrin's range, Corrin really can't do too much uh, when Bayonetta just chooses to retreat to the ledge to get rid of that lag. And right there, we're going to see a classic Bayonetta conversion off for specials in the up air. Booty and King Booty. respectively popping off. Yeah, he's feeling it too. And now, all of a sudden, it's a 1-1 one -one set. And that was a little bit more of a convincing victory, a two-stock nonetheless from... Uh, from uh from Booty King and now Thunderlit, he needs a response and fast. I mean that uh that pop off, like you said, you thought he won Grand Finals a glitch five or something, but right? uh this is in fact winner's quarterfinal action, winner's uh round two action, excuse me. And the winner of this going on to face Z D, so obviously the number one seed of the tournament and number two in the region, watching very intently here, going to the battlefield for the final game of this best of three clip. I don't know how I feel about this as a counterpick uh, on Thunderlid's part. I feel as though the platforms definitely give Bayonetta a lot more creativity and maneuverability with the combos. I understand what he's going for, for wanting a higher ceiling so that he doesn't die off the top as early, but that's just not necessarily the move, if you ask me. But maybe Thunderlid will shut me up. Maybe it also gives him a... Uh Gives him a little bit more space to uh, maybe maybe gives him a T to hit off of for uh, some of his aerial attacks. He needs to be throwing out a lot more of those neutral airs if he's going to have uh, Booty King charging in like that. I just feel like, so a lot of characters, Corrin included, you know, th they can absolutely exploit the fact that they can shark people underneath those platforms. Oh my gosh, oh! missing the Dragon Fang to the pin. But I mean, against Bayonetta, who can witch time it basically a moment's notice just like that, mm -hmm. I feel like sharking underneath the platform is kind of risky. I mean, right there, he even saw Thunderlit didn't even want to go for it. Any other character, he would have at least put out the pressure of an up air, but Bayonetta, you can't risk it. Well, name me one person that got anywhere by playing it safe. Uh, a lot of Bayonetta's, actually. But <laughs> well, fair enough. <laughs> well, that is a I mean, he's Booty King last you know game. We just watched him two stock the, uh, two stock solid, the same guy. Solid <laughs> counterplay from Vanilla, goodness gracious. <laughs> The hard read <laughs> from Vanilla. I just got bodied, folks. And now, Thunderlit not spacing himself out nearly well enough in order to win this set. Oh, not that's going to be stock. That's going to be stock. Absolutely off of the roof. And the and taunt? Out. Dance on him, Booty King. Dance on him. Goodness gracious. And Booty King. And the thing is, Thunderlit is not spacing himself out enough. He's not getting the tippers that he needs to clean up the stocks. He's not. He's letting oh. Booty King approach far too much. And now this could be a big combo off of the top. Booty King looking for the coup de grace is All not right. going to find it. Right there, if Booty King would have gone for the down air, he would have absolutely been my hero because that would have spiked Thunderlit right there after his down air. But uh, nope, he decides not to take it, goes for the near for safe damage and a 56%. Thunderlit has got to watch out. This is Rage Bayonetta. This is this is what won Evo Grand Finals 2017. Like, this, this is that beast. You're absolutely right. I mean, nonetheless, that was... Uh, Oh, oh, 2017, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Me. yeah, yeah, no, I was about to say. I was, I was trying to think of whether it was Lima or, yeah, no, no. No, no, yeah, yeah. I keep forgetting what year it is, folks. Honestly, Please same. Run. I don't even know how old I am half the time. We are going to see that oh, up there. Oh, kill. throw off the top. Thunderlet with the subtle pop-up. I like that. The one, the one fist up says, yeah, we're still in this, guys. But for how long? Because oh. this could be a big combo. But the counter comes out from Thunderlit. Booty King needs oh no. to respect that. Oh, no. Choosing not to go for the up smash. I don't know why. That might have even killed. 86% on Corn, And you are dealing with another rage monster here. Corn does have quite a bit of theft quite a bit of heft to him, so maybe not quite at that percentage, but nonetheless would have definitely given him the time to set something up down below where, of course, Booty King smelling blood in the water like a shark would be waiting and circling his prey. But now at 87%, dash dancing, just, oh my gosh, telling you, yeah, come and get some. I can dance in more ways than one, says that Booty King. Be, that is oh. not going to be the stop. You can see Thunder look over the counter. He tried to end it all right up top there. Oh, that was cheeky, but Booty King, discretion being the better part of Valor, and he certainly saw that there. The up air is, in fact, going to kill. Fly me to the moon, says Booty King, and he...